All right, we're back. I don't know what happened there. We're live, back. <laughs> Part two. That's yes. what that's what live is. That's what live is, ladies. <laughs> that's what happens. Know, things, things happen. Yes, Jax, it does. Jax had to take off, and we're talking with Bobby Mosias, and we're in the middle of the uh, of a conversation when he uh, uh, transitioned from Laredo to the Rio Grande Valley in radio. With the thanks of uh, you know uh, uh, one of the icon uh, voices, iconic voices in Tejano, uh, Joe Morales, who was running a radio station down here, KIWW, which I worked at till '98, and Bobby came in in '99, and it was Tejano, and there was a transition going on with uh, KIWW because KIWW was a, a legacy Tejano station. Yes, yeah, and yes. then all of a sudden it uh, turned into hip hop. But uh, I know Bobby was. How long were you doing the morning there with uh, Lily? Lily at uh, KIWW, bro. I want to say I was uh, doing about two years, three years, maybe something? like two years, and then AC Cruz came in and did the morning show. What happened when AC Cruz came in? What did they tell they, you or they, what? They they, uh, they told me that uh, AC for being uh, from the Valle mm -hmm. and him knowing the Valley more. Mm -hmm. um, and and plus I wasn't I was in a morning jock I was more of a shock jock mm -hmm. um, I wasn't a, a funny man uh, jokester nothing like that um, AC Cruz had all you know a little bit more of all of that and um, so they told me that uh, AC Cruz was gonna go ahead and take over the mornings only because he was more familiar. The whole idea there behind that is because Johnny O and Bonnie were at uh, Que, que Pasa, mm -hmm. and AC Cruz and Don Max were the main guys there in the morning, and they they did they built you know Que Pasa to what it was. You know, I mean, I'm not I'm gonna, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. You know, yeah, AC yeah. Cruz was a good ta great talent, and Don Max was a great talent, and together they were very good together. And so when I heard them on 96.1, I said, okay, they brought them in to see if they can beat Johnny O and Bonnie, you yeah, know, because yeah. they think the Que Pasa audience was automatically going to transition over here because you had a whole different audience, yes. uh, you know, uh, compared to them. And uh, and I thought, you know, okay, they got, they, they said, Bobby, we're going to bring these guys in because they were at Que Pasa, so automatically it, it'll be a Que Pasa station here as well. Yeah. And so that what, so, so then, so then from there, uh, they, I got the, uh, the seven to midnight shift. And for me, that was like the bombest thing ever. Yeah. You know, porque ya, you know, um, and it's a very important shift as well in the, in the day, you know, the nights is, it, yes. Yeah. The, the whole idea about the nights is you, you want the people listening at night to finish the night listening to you. And in the morning they wake up and it's on the, the radio dial. It's on you on the station. And yes. so they start with the morning automatically. I had the, the, um, um I guess. Porque era uno de los uh, más uh, youngsters, uh -huh. locutores ahí. I, you know, they also said, you know, at nights you you have more. Uh, you were hip, youth. Yeah. They said, you know, listeners at night are more, you know, uh, they, they, you know, they're the high school Tejano listeners and stuff. Uh, or, and you or, had or that the hip, youngsters. You had that hip hop background as well. And the, the yes. dance. Yeah. yeah. As, as uh, um, the only reason when I, why I was doing Tejano is porque... I, I couldn't carry out a um, a, a um, una conversación in English. Mm -hmm, yeah. um, so, uh, but I'm all hip hop. I'm yeah. all hip hop. You know. Oh yeah. And how was it working with AC there? Oh, uh, awesome. you never saw him. Did you see him? Oh, of you course. Were at night and he was in the day, right? Yeah. Um, no lo miraba tan seguro, pero you know, yeah. He since he was a program director, um, I would see him in, in you know meetings and stuff. Um, Pero hasta este día somos muy buenos amigos. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, but back in the day we were cool and, and 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 we would mess around and I would tell him, hey, you came and took my my morning show, you know. And I was honestly I was cool about it because I I wasn't a morning guy. Like I didn't I wouldn't like to. No me gustaba dormirme a las 10 de la, de la, de la noche <laughs> yeah. y levantarme a las 4 y media de la mañana. Y sales a la medianoche y todavía hay dos horas para ir a porear en el club y la chica. Now, what's so <laughs> cool, now, what's so cool about the morning show, it, it, it's that you only work your, you know, you work from 6. Um, well, you go in at 5.30 in the morning uh -huh. and you do your 6 to 10. And se siente como que no tienes ni trabajo porque ya para las 10 de la mañana uh, yo vivía por... Uh, you know, seven blocks away from uh -huh. the Chase Tower. So by 10.30, I was already at the house. Yeah. So I was getting, um, I was making big money yeah. in four hours. 
corporate shit. And, 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 ¿Qué puedo decir? No más la levantada. No, la me iba, no, me iba, no me iba a quejar. Oye, y entonces, ¿qué pasó que se hizo hip hop en so, la estación? En esos tiempos ya, Tejano ya se estaba yendo. 2003, por ahí no. Yeah, 2003, honestly. I, I guess even the Que Pasa Station, all the other stations that were playing Tejano. Tejano Music was, ya se estaba yendo, se estaba cambiando, se estaba haciendo el transition para música norteña. Mm -hmm. And that's when um, Intocable, bro, Edgar, man. Yes, yeah. corporate uh, one day just came in and said, um, as of today at five o'clock, we are going to turn this station into a hip-hop station. Was AC Cruz there too, or still, or, or no? Um, AC Cruz, no. Ya para entonces ya no estaba AC Cruz. I, and I believe he was just there like for maybe like two years or so. I know. It was a real quick stand. Like, I remember. Quick, it, was yeah. like, it was quick. I, I mean, he wasn't there remember. Too, maybe a year, maybe. I, I can't remember what happened. But um, then we swapped into... Um, they fired everybody at at, um, at the one, 96-1. Mm -hmm. um, and they only left uh, me and Ray Pedraza. Yeah. And they left me there porque I came from... That 106 sta station yeah, yeah. from Laredo. So yeah. I, since I had some hip hop background, mm -hmm. um, they went ahead and said, you know, you are gonna, you and Ray Pedras are gonna run the station. So at um, at Bolio, uh, uh, yeah, I remember Bolio. Bolio, uh, he was the uh, the, um, the consultant or consultant prom director for yeah. all the South Side. Of uh, the the corporate company, he was the one that was handling Tejano 107 in uh, in, San Antonio, in San Antonio with Johnny Ramirez well, yes. and all that. Yeah, yeah. so he uh, came in and and brought brought in since they had a hip hop station 98.5 in San Antonio and it was the number one station in hip in in San Antonio. They went ahead and said, you know, let's go ahead and swap Tejano for hip hop. Yeah. So let's, let's emulate that station. Yeah. So everybody got fired. Me and Ray Pedraza are there. Um honestly Wow. <laughs> at five o'clock five o'clock came in. Left. Uh they 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 I don't know, you know, the the tech the technical part comes in. They swap the drivers and stuff. Five o'clock uh comes in and Ludicrous move, bitch. Get, get out, out the, the way. way. Get out the way. Yeah. Move, bitch, for the whole entire day. 24 hours. <laughs> for the whole day, 24 yeah. hours to make a statement to yeah. let everybody know to move out, move out of the way. Because yeah. the beat, 96 won the beat, was Ooh. now going to be the, the hip station. hop station yeah. for the, the valley. The, yeah, the new station. And how long did that last? You were there so, probably two years, maybe three? We took down um, Hot 101. That was the first hip hop station uh -huh. in the valley. Um, we took out B104, All Hit Music and More. They were number one for 41 years. We took them out on the ratings as well. Uh -huh. And um, 96 won the beat, um, uh, was uh, number one on ratings, but there was no money coming in. Yeah, um, advertising. And that's what it all ends up being, right? Yeah. Um, so we're, 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 we're talents getting big money, um, and, um, uh, no clients. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't not working last out. long. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't working out. I don't, maybe it's the sales reps didn't know how to pitch it. Actually, that, that was it. Yeah, no. We only had one salesperson that knew the hip hop onda mm -hmm. and could kind of explain it out there to the clients as to, you know, this is the big thing. You, you have know? to have sales reps that are kind of, you know, cognizant of the talent and uh, the talent is cognizant of the music and the, you know, and so the reps have to know and like and live the, the, the music in order to be able to be able to pitch it yes. to a client and sell it. You know what I mean? And it's kind of tough for, for hip hop because it was fresh down here. So we were number one, but no money. Yeah. And Cajevete, our sister station. We well, had all the Norteño and stuff. Had all the Norteño. They were number one. And they were, you know, they were actually paying for our bills. Yeah. You know? So um, then they said one day, you know what, we're going to, to give it up. Before, before, antes de que se tronara uh, 96 won the beat, Johnny O went ahead and uh, visit, uh, he he visited me over at a live uh, broadcast um, and told me that he was hired to um, recruit new 
disc jockeys, on-air personalities to build the new Wild 104. Uh -huh. And since I was a music director over at 96.1 The Beat, that means that I had the recipe. Uh -huh. So uh, Johnny O went ahead and approached me and said, uh, we want you to come and work for this new station that we're going to, that we want to open up. Yeah. And um, I don't want to know how much money you're making. One on, uh, I don't want to know how much money you want, you're making right now. I just want to know how much money you want to make. <laughs> like how much, how much you want. Well, throw something on the table. I don't want to shortchange myself. <laughs> I went ahead and uh, I went ahead and uh, I wrote a number down and uh, he said right there. And then if I come back tomorrow with this number, I'll, uh, Will you throw in your two weeks notice over at uh, the beat? And I said, let's do this. And dicho y hecho, next day he calls me up and he's like, Bob, um, come over to the station so you can come in and, and sign the contracts. And I'm like, no, uh, you know that as soon as I step in the radio station, you're... I know there's other salespeople that have worked for the uh, other stations and stuff. I said, as soon as I step in that station, somebody's going to call the Chase Tower, call Joe Morales. Joe Morales is going to fire me for just for stepping here at the Wild One, <laughs> at the B104 uh -huh. Studios. So um, Johnny O said, don't worry, we'll go to your studio because I, I have a Mix Masters recording studio. I do uh -huh. commercials and stuff. Yeah. Again, I used to be the producer for Joe Morales back in the days. Mm -hmm. So, um, over uh, at the studio, Joe, uh, um, Johnny O and Billy Santiago uh -huh. from B104, they both show up over at the studio with the contract. And I signed the contract right there at my studio. And 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 the rest is history. history. Wow. Uh, I <laughs> turn in my my two weeks notice over at the beat. And uh, believe it or not, uh, Mr. Joe Morales, uh, it was like like um back in the days when i was in elementary or middle school and 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 uh they would tell you Cites un mal, we're gonna send you to the principal you knew you were gonna get a spanking <laughs> yeah. so I, i knew i was gonna get not a spanking but i was gonna get something from joe morales so i step in joe morales office and i i'm like uh, mr morales i'm here to turn in my two-week notice i appreciate everything you've done for me joe and uh, you know oh, most definitely yeah. yes you i know to, you know what i i think he didn't even give me a chance to even say that because when i i stepped in he said Ah, ¿qué pasó, mijito? God, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué está pasando, mi Bobby? And that's when I said, Ah, uh, sir, I came in to uh, give you my two weeks. And when I just said two weeks notice, he yelled out, you know, uh, the su mano derecha, la secretaria, Vicky. And, and, and she's like, and he's like, Vicky, trae me el contrato de Bobby. Bring me el, el contract de Bobby. And, and, and he, Vicky brings the contract. Non-compete. And the non-compete contract said, Roberto Macias, my name, Bobby mm -hmm. Macias, Roberto Macias cannot work for no Spanish-speaking radio station. Within 50-mile radius. So <laughs> when what I'm trying to say is when they swap from 96.1 KIWW Tejano to the beat they didn't swap my contracts so that's that was the only reason why i i got i could have pulled out from the contract uh -huh. so um joe morales ve el contrato dice que el contrato está bajo k-i-w-w so como k-i-w-w ya no existe uh -huh. el contrato está como rompido it's done, it's no done. Wow. so he yelled out like Who is, you know, who was the one, you know, responsible for not, you know, uh, revising revising the, yeah. Bobby's contract. So I uh, honestly, I, I, I remember I was the, the talk of radio world, mm -hmm. you know, los locutores and everybody. Yeah. They were like, how is it possible that Bobby was over here? Like, for example, like on Monday and then on Tuesday, he's on his direct competitor yeah. like that back in the days that you wouldn't. No. Nah. Yeah, you had that non-compete. Non-compete, yeah. two-year uh, non-compete or something like that. It was about a year, and then it's a 50-mile radius, and, you know, and uh, I, I went through one of those, man. I went through a whole year without being on radio, and I yeah. stuck around, <laughs> and I ended up coming back anyway, but... Uh, 
But no, man, I'm glad uh, you, so you, that was you, it? you've yeah. been through you've been through wow. a really good adventure, man. And you've been part of this radio culture here in South Texas and Laredo, man. And I appreciate you coming over, man, Bob. And we've got some pictures, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to do these real quick because, man, it's getting late. But um, we're going to start with Rock and Rudy's pictures Ooh, because nice. Rock and Rudy's here. And, he, and, and they brought some old school pictures. I love seeing this stuff because it's who we were. And so what and, made us and what we are today, and yeah. uh, so let's check them Wait, out. I okay, so I'm hoping is it is he the one with the striped shirt? I don't know. Put it on. Put it <laughs> on. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That is con el porno stash, carnal. John Holmes. What year was that? This was uh, in 1980. For my freshman year in high school, and I was at KMAC, the radio station there at McAllen High School. That's awesome, the school uh, having a radio yeah, station. Yeah, that's uh, and, that's, cool. and that's how, uh, like uh, I said, uh, back then I was known as Root Dog Rodriguez. Remember, you were making fun of me as a wrestler. Yeah, Root Dog. <laughs> Let's see, what's the next picture, baby? Let me see. Ooh. Oh, yeah. no. I love watching these, man. It's like a photo album, man. It's a walk down memory lane. I and know, stuff, right? I, did I really send you that one? I did. <laughs> That's the first one you sent me, bro. <laughs> There's this one. Con el AB Quintanilla. El AB Quintanilla. El AB me bloqueó en Instagram, carnal. También no me quiere como AC, yo creo, carnal. No sé, a lo mejor AC le dijo que me bloqueara. You never know. You never know. You never know. No, hombre, pero. Yeah, uh, I got this, uh, the honor of meeting uh, AB Quintanilla in Harlingen at that... Um, what was it called? The name of that place? Silverado or something so like that? So, watch a medio Bobby Macias de los ojos del vato, no? A ver, watch a, let's check it out. Ir a, ir a los oh, no, so see. Me one time. see. Uh, I was, uh, I was uh, standing next to him and I was getting fumigated, you know? I was, you know? Fumigated. Yeah. Man, let's see uh, the next picture, baby. Let's see the next picture. You know, that's squirming. El, 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 el racket really does squirming. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. I didn't think you were going to show him like right here, right now. What is we're that, here. Is yeah. It? No, that's Bobby. Bobby. Man, Bobby. Look at that. Oh, man, Bobby, how old were you there, bro? Right there, that's 11 years old. Damn, 11, bro. 11 that, years old. That's an amazing, you need to frame that thing, put it on your wall, dude, in the living room. Or in the Bobby Macias Museum, carnal. 11. Yeah. Look at that old años. board with the big volume knobs and shit, dude. Rotary knobs. That's old Love school, it. dude. All the little headphone jacks there on the bottom, man. Not the, 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 those... No son headphone jacks. So no botones. You would you, you would press the buttons and and it would hit off uh, the the cart machines ah, and Simon. or or the record player and stuff. Ah, para no tener que pegarle al record acá andar moviéndole yeah, no le pegas no, está conectado. You know, yeah, yeah, exactly. You would just Orale. hit the button and the record player w would start es spinning es and es stuff. Es 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 un classic. See, yeah, it's okay, baby. If you mix them up a bit, it doesn't matter. Is, how about this one? Oh, that's me. Oh, that's ah. Rock and Rudy. Hey, ahí está todo el chavo support, papá. <laughs> my two beautiful daughters. Uh, Look at my check, Bobby. It's zero. <laughs> the, one, uh, the one that I'm holding uh, in my hands there, like uh -huh. as a matter of fact, th this is uh, that's my youngest daughter, and wow. she was born on my 30th birthday. It's amazing, bro. That's my birthday gift from God. Thank you wow. very much. And then this one right here with the beautiful smile in the bottom there, that's my oldest. She's the one that gave me my grandson, Carson, and that's Drena D, darling Dre. That's incredible, bro, how yeah. fast time flies and yeah. their kids grow up and I, become I, adults and make us grandparents and stuff, I worked right? my butt off for them girls, and uh, yeah. I didn't mind giving them all my check or whatever, you know, yeah. hasta la fecha, ahora, papi, te dice, but I mean, yeah. I make whatever little money I make, extra, no, bro, I yeah. give it to them, you know? Yeah, of course, man, of course. Hey, uh, what other picture uh, do we have there, baby? Let's see. Let's uh, see. These are awesome. You know? Oh! El, 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 el Bobas. Un saludito para el JT Campos, el Boas. Uh, I keep calling him Bobas. I don't know why. I keep right. No, even, even the last time when I was here with you guys. Bo Boba is what you get in checkers, bro. When you're yeah. playing checkers and, yeah. you, and you don't and you don't eat somebody, you yeah. say, hey, Boba. So you take it from there, bro. I don't yeah. know where the hell that word came from for checkers. but I love this picture. Uh, yeah. This one right here. Ay, oh, es Bobby. el pinche muletazo ese carnal susta me one time. That's me, that's me and my wife. Y, oh hombre, my god, that's me and my wife. She's so tiny. Yeah. Oye, tenías I el budget it. para cómo se llama el hairspray baby ese que Aquanet. Aquanet, <laughs> tu <laughs> pinche Aquanet bruto carnal. Desde que mi novia a uh, en el picture, novia, desde que mi wife, you know, she was in uh, eighth grade, I was the ninth grader. Desde entonces ha estado conmigo. Wow, that's Aww. incredible, Matt. That's we're, awesome, bro. We're 33 years 
ya tenemos, estamos celebrando 33 años estando juntos. Wow. Lo único que no está contigo es el pelo, papi. Ya se nos fue el pelo ya a nosotros, lo, los dos, ya carnal. Se fue, ya se nos fue el pelo. Ya. Órale, let's see the next picture, man. That's a beautiful picture, man, yes, of you is. and your wife, man. Míralo en el parade de Z93. Wow, oh look at that. Oh, my God, I love it. <laughs> it looks like it's cold. Is it a cold day that day? No, well, you got a T-shirt on, but the trees, it looks like the leaves were falling, and it might have been fall or something around there. Yeah, I think so. Ah, sabes que era el Christmas parade. That's what it looks yeah, like. Me, me da un poquito de frito that, con ese picture. That look like yeah. to you on the Oye, background. Sí, el, <laughs> el niño que está enseguida de ti, ¿quién es, Babilor? ¿Te recuerdas de él o no? Sí, se llama El Carnitas. El Carnitas. El Carnitas. He used to just be um, un, un radio escucha y le gustaba mucho la música. Oh, he was a fan, Aww. dude. You he put was him a fan. on the That's awesome, yes, bro. Yes, yes, yes. I know this one's Bobby yeah. also. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Man, that's, that's that the DJ awesome. booth in Z93. Never been in it, and now I'm seeing it. And wow, man. That's one of our studios. That that, that studio is um, ese es un, el, el segundo studio que te que los puso Mr. Guerra. Mm -hmm. um, that was on on Carlton Road there in, in Laredo, Texas. Before we used to be at a real old house, like an old house, mm -hmm. and that ahí era cuando trabajaba con el bird. Ahí en este estudio el que estamos viendo ahí ya. Ya no trabajaba. Wasn't it great just being surrounded by music, dude? <laughs> Look like, at those CDs on the back. I know, those, dude. Yeah, putting it's, the CDs. And then there's albums out somewhere around there, I'm sure, también. I mean, you, you know, because at the early early times, uh, the earlier part of the CD uh, evolution, um, there were not everything was on CD. Not you know, everything. you still had to have albums in case it wasn't on CD. And then finally, the, the music caught on the CD. But or, how, about, how about this picture? Or the program director. Ooh, uh, on, go sorry. ahead and uh, get the... Uh, <laughs> The hold record, on, the on, record player, and go ahead and record it into a card and stuff. It alone. It's so, that's I. Tengo 15 años. Chinga de cómo quisiera tener ese pelo. Yo tengo un remolino en mero frente, bro, y no puedo tener el pinche even Steven pelos. Neta carnal, neta carnal, neta. That's amazing hairstyle right I there. I don't know. Bro. I don't know where. No, no sé para dónde ganó todo ese pelo ya. <laughs> y eso se ganó para las memorias de nuestras mentes, dad. Honestamente, yeah, I do want to. I do want to say. Honestly, the reason why a lot of jocks than nosotros, um, I want to say radio did this to us. Yeah. Nadie lo ha, no, na, nadie lo ha dicho eso, but radio gave me anxiety, depression, gave me a whole, and menos pelo. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Plus, you know, doing a morning show is very, uh, it, it's not easy. I mean, you have to compete. You have to bring numbers. You have to be creative. You can't show up lazy one day. You got to be on top all the time, dude. You got to have your jokes it, ready. You, you got to have, have your have benchmarks. Everything. You can't skip. It's got to be tight, you know, and it's, it's, it, it's not easy. It's not easy, man. It's There's a, this one more picture that okay. I have. Oral, ese es el Machine Gun Kelly, ¿no? Machine Gun Kelly. Orale, ¿están en la isla del padre o qué, carnal? Sí, ahí estamos en la isla. Los contratan en los, uh, ahí en el Clayton's. Sí. Uh -huh. And um, en varios lugares para poner. El sistema. El sistema. Yeah, man. That's what we do, Mix Masters. Oh, yeah. And uh, ahí tuve una oportunidad de poner el sonido para, para él. And right there, we were all VIP in his room. ¿Se portó bien el vato? He was cool. It was cool. Fumaron algo no. Fíjate que sí. Sí. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no puedo decir que. El vato tiene una ruca ahorita. ¿Cómo se llama la girl? Megan. Ah. Megan Kelly. No. No, Meg Megan. No. <laughs> ¿Quién es Megan Fox. Kelly? Uh, Megan Fox. Megan Kelly's from. The X Fox News oh, lady. Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> oh my God. Megan, you're gonna get her in trouble. It's a Megan Fox's band, dude. She's, yeah, that's the girl that came out on uh, um, Transformers. Transformer. Yeah. Did Trans you see the movie where she? You guys have it? to watch that movie called uh, Till Death. Oh, Till Death, bro. You gotta you watch to that watch movie it. with her, bro. Yes, it's. it's, it's you guys bro. have to watch it. Yeah, yeah dude. I want to tell you about it. Till Death. Till, till Death. Till Death. Megan Kelly. So is that all the pictures, babe? Already or? Uh, Megan Fox. Megan Fox. I said <laughs> Megan Kelly. Hey, just like I call, what's his name? Boss. Uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. There's this one picture that I have right here. Hold on. Right, and it's, right. it's this one. Oh, there is the character that Bobby Macias created and made popular, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely got to give credit to Johnny O. Johnny O, uh, he was the one that told me to um, come out with this character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One day I was, um, um, when you, were, I was you were chatito one day and, and when I was at uh, <laughs> when I was uh, over at 
Y si no lo sabías, Johnny O is also from Laredo. Yeah, that's and true. And he's from Mi Lub Barrio. Wasn't he born uh, Lubbock too? Moved something? to Lubbock, okay, but yeah. he's born and raised de Laredo, and he's from El Barrio Mío del yeah. Santo Niño. I had Johnny O here, bro. Him and Frankie. Man, nombre, bro. Tuvimos de madre aquí, bro. It was fun. Yeah, yeah I can he's imagine. from Laredo, bro. Yeah. The yeah. talent of Laredo, man. El talento. And Chatito was, uh, he's so, sort of like Pepito from... So, yeah, from, I, I, went uh, ahead yeah. And, I went ahead and did a commercial, and since production... Is is has been uh, lo fuerte mío in radio production. Um, I went ahead and did a, a commercial and, and did this voice with Chatito, and I would speed it up. And then he just one day told me, "Hey, you should work on a character, get a name for it, and show me what you can do." And I went ahead and 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 did you know the character Chatito, and uh, and myself, and I would pre-record it on a. Um, I would pre-record it on a um, reel to reel on a reel to reel yeah. para que um, se oyera en vivo. O sea, le cambiaba la velocidad cuando grababa uh -huh. la voz de eh, la voz de Chatito, and then sí. cuando salía mi voz, you know, grababa la a la velocidad normal. So anyhow, we would go back and forth, and it would sound like you know, Chatito and I, you know, were live at Wild One O Four. Y ahí se te cayó todo el pelo que te quedaba, ¿verdad? Uh, yes. That, <laughs> yes. No, dude, I'm serious. In order yeah. to be able to create with a character every single morning and be fresh and different and not redundant, it's not easy. It's not easy. Not at all. It's not easy. It's yeah, not easy. Uh, yeah, not so easy, uh, honestly, ya yeah, después de que me, me corrieron de la radio, because uh -huh. um, uh, one day at Wild 104 in 2005, my, my boss man, Uh, the manager did say, you know, uh, Bobby, I, uh, I have no excuse but to tell you the truth. We don't have, uh, we can't afford you. Uh -huh. uh, and this the is, budget? And this is Clear Channel. Y eso fue cuando comenzaron los budget cuts de Clear Channel. De todos los estaciones. Y ahorita, yeah. y ahorita, yo creo que Wild 104 only has two DJs. Yeah, and, there, and there's like one jock in every station nowadays. Yeah, um, that's crazy, and or two, and that's it. Yeah, and then they're multitasking. <laughs> you know, they're they're doing other little odd jobs too as well. Five other stations, yeah. and and that's what the digital era has done. You yeah. know, it's uh, you know, YouTube, uh, Spotify, uh, Pandora, all those uh, streaming devices, streaming services has affected radio they, they, they and, and it's and it's not done it's not done yet i mean there's you know but we're still surviving and it's still good but it's had to be you know kind of cut down and stuff right they told me one day you know the robots one day uh, are, are going to replace you guys on the radio and i said robots replacing us personalities on the radio como como like how can you do that and then we were introduced to voice tracking and mm -hmm. and that was the robot yeah. that they were talking about yeah. and um And they, I, I did honestly one day did get to hear Bobby come and record your show, and I recorded my show in in like 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and so now they didn't need a Bobby Macias for four hours. Now, now they needed me yeah. for only. 30 minutes or But whatever it would take. You know what? That doesn't have the same effect as a no. live jock. It, oh. uh, it's canned. It's canned. And there's there's no connection. I mean. It's just, it's just, it's just noise. I mean, uh, you know, if if a jock live on the radio makes a, a complete connection with the um, the audience. Yeah. Another thing right now that's hurting a lot of the radio stations is that you know there's a lot of uh, you know cancel culture. Uh, you have to be careful what you say. Back in the day, we were a lot more you know risque. We could push the envelope, and now you never know who's going to send that email and then have you in trouble and get you canceled or shut down or whatever. Everybody is sensitive, or everybody's out to to tr try to have the power to cancel somebody. Yes, and uh, you know it's really affected radio as well to a certain extent, but. You know, we have these uh, opportunities and these platforms to do what we're doing, and that's why I do what I do here. And that's why I like to bring people like you that uh, have had an amazing career and is still, still doing it and, and has that entrepreneurial spirit like you, yes. man. Thank to, you. you know, be able to hustle not only in radio for some other people or for a corporation, but doing what you love to do on the side and hustling in some, you know, side gigs and side hustles. That's what we do, bro. That's what we do. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate you 
finally coming over here and i don't care if it came if you came after ac cruz bro you know i don't bro because i just I'm, i just didn't want to have my 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 former uh boss que se enojara conmigo yeah, no, no, no quería, me, no quería que and se ac i ain't got AC. nothing against you bro i mean i wanted you to come into the show because you have an amazing trajectory as well you have an amazing story you've been part of the culture here in the real grande valley you were in houston you did a lot you had a strong impact in south texas uh through radio and i you know i respect that you know i appreciate that he was one of the leaders in radio here in the Rio Grande Valley. And gotta gotta give it up. I, one 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 thing I do gotta say about uh, AC Cruz when he was over over at Que Pasa was him flying a a, uh, a airplane over uh, KIWW's uh, concert. He actually flew a plane <laughs> saying what? a plane with a message saying. Um, uh, que pasa? Th thanking you for joining us, uh, uh, you know the name of the festival and stuff, and that that is guerrilla warfare. We're war tactics, you yeah. know, yeah. and uh, so um, I got nothing against uh, AC. AC, I, I still to this day I I talk to him. Miko still talk to him. All my bosses still I still talk to all of them, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I guess <laughs> this is my story. And um, all of what I said today, era nomás para que, you know, so people, you know, can know and stuff. Dude, your story is amazing, it man. Is, I appreciate is. you. And Rocket Rudy, thank you for bringing, uh, you know, Bobby over and uh, and hanging out with us all the way from San Antonio, well, it, man. It's like I told you, uh, Bobby said that he would do the show but as long as I'm here with him. <laughs> and here I am. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, Se trajo he, la esquina, el pistolero. El, what did you call it? I said, di, uh -huh. dije, necesito un pistolero. Yeah, yeah. Y me dijo, yo vengo desde San Antonio, I'll pick you up and I'll go and take you to to the uh to the show yeah. and that's what he did yeah it's awesome yeah. and we're gonna take care of your guys for the for the show for coming down and, and hanging <laughs> out you. with us man all right appreciate it all right, it's like i told bobby hey it's the fam man you know when it comes to the fam it's la mera cuerda i gotta come make sure he's okay yeah you know? bobby i appreciate you coming down bro and uh you know I, i'm a phone call away a text away if you ever need anything from me thank and you and do the doors are always open for you here if you want to come in and hang out uh you're more than welcome if you want to bring a friend and uh and, and introduce him to our audience we do it as well. Maybe you and your wife can come here and mm -hmm. we can all hang out yeah. and talk about most death. just relationships, yes. being married to DJs. <laughs> you know, it's not easy. <laughs> it's, it's, not, oh, it's not easy. Oh, hell no. You know, and, and, and we'll let them go off on us all night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No te imaginas que tantas veces tenía que llegar con flores, regalos y todo eso because it's part of the job. Yeah. You know, you got to say shout out to Lisa. Hey, you're looking good or I don't know, just something. And, yeah. and she, they, she would always have something to say so it was like you know I, I would even invent you know dedication salud para maria hey you know i don't know whatever <laughs> but se encelaba and every time que llegaba a la casa who's tenia, maria tenia una cara, <laughs> tenia una cara and, and and then later through the years you know ella agarró la onda, como dicen. oh so this is where the money's coming yeah. from um, Pero también las chiflamos chingo. Oh, eh. sí. Las chiflamos. Uh, honestly, no. truly, I've been eh, uh, chiflado. A lot of perks. Lot <laughs> even of perks. yesterday, even yesterday, I told my, I told my ruca, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> te ha vestido, te ha vestido, te ha comprado ropa desde que estabas en seventh grade. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, desde Aww. que has estado con ella. <laughs> How sweet. Uh, to, to this day, todavía la mantengo. Uh -huh. um, pero no le tengo que dar las, las gracias a mi señora por aguantarme, uh, por... Um, o sea, esta carrera de ser locutor es uh, muy difícil. Hey, behind every successful person there or successful a, man, there's a there's, there's a strong a woman strong behind, and uh, and that's good, man. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. And she probably she'll probably be the one to protect you more than anybody yes, else. One hundred percent. You know, yes. that's what it's all about, man. And she has jefe, your back. You my know? jefe, my dad, me, me decía, amigo, you know what? Esta esta carrera te va a acabar o las drogas, el dinero, uh, you know, the sex, drugs, rock and roll. Así me decía. And yeah. it was rowdy in the 90s. Yeah, right? yeah. rowdy. <laughs> and um, gracias a Dios, you know, for being uh, part of the 90s. The 90s paid everything that I owned, yeah. uh, that I have for the little or for yeah. the most that I got. You know, everything yeah. was paid off for 
um, because of radio, yeah. 90s radio. Well, it was the 90s, but it was your ambition. It was your vision. It was your goals. It was you, your hustle. Mm -hmm. That's what did it, bro. You you embraced the 90s and you ran with it, man. Yes. Because mm -hmm. the 90s were here for everybody and not everybody, you know, did what you did. You know what I'm saying? So, man, I appreciate you coming. Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Macias. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Gracias. Thank and, you again uh, for having me. And of course, Rock and Rudy here with us as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate and it. Before we leave, we yes, want to. Really, really okay. quick before we go, I do want to send a special shout out to Sal in the House, Krabby Crab, Tejano Historian, Samuel Martinez. Mario Montes Millions watching us from so far away. What's up? Felipe Menchaca and his wife, Alex. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. And our wonderful ladies, Victoria Garcia and Carmen Benavides. All right. They are awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank Dr. Teach Primary Care for men and women. If you feel sluggish, tired, gain weight, you're looking for a primary care clinic to help improve your quality of life. Give them a call, 956-441-2188 or 1-855-771-1650. Dr. Tease, it's www.drtease.com. You will be glad you did, and they'll get you ready for the summer. And we also want to thank our new sponsor, ladies and gentlemen, from Brenham, Texas, Top Floor Cars, a classic car dealership. You're looking for a classic car you give them a call or check them out on social media on Instagram at Top Floor Cars Brenham. Uh, you can follow them on Facebook at Top Floor Cars. YouTube, check out their YouTube Top Floor Cars as well or visit their website topfloorcars.com to see their current inventory. They are amazing. Uh, as you can see, put that video up again, babe, because the yes. cars are just absolute. And we have a whole lot more pictures of cars. We've only put a few of them on there. But, man, look at that carrito, man. That's a 55. And that, that is truck, my favorite. Look at that I truck. want one of those. It's awesome. Please. La troquita con la little, uh, little trailer. Yeah. yeah that, and that one, man. Yeah. Look at that. That was nice and low. Look at those vehicles. They are amazing. If you're looking for a classic car, look at that truck. You give contact them on their website, topfloorcars.com. You'll see the inventory just like you're seeing right here. That's a great, great car right there. Awesome, beautiful, classic. And uh, we want to thank them for reaching out to us and being part of the hashtag PBT movement. All mm -hmm. right. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Bobby, muchas gracias, Dad. Thank you. Thank muchas you, gracias, sir. Rock and Rudy. Y'all, thank you for supporting hashtag PBT. Gonna get some gin and juice. Oh, yeah. Everybody wave. Come on.